what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we got to check out this clip that was on promo joe's uh twitter i saw it earlier today and i thought it'd be a very interesting uh clip to check out with you guys apparently uh kenny omega uh was streaming with somebody else and he was talking about the situation with cm punk and the bucks and it seems as if kenny omega was trying to be the bridge between all the chaos but it seems like the bucks weren't trying to you know bury the hatchet which that was the rumors uh circulating that the bucks weren't trying to bury the hatchet and make make things right um which ultimately is one of the reasons why things happened the way they did because you know uh tony khan didn't step in be the boss that he is and tell them hey get your shit together let's figure this out make up so we can make some damn money but instead he didn't he let the bucks do what they want and more uh chaos ensued on top of cm punk and everything he was dealing with so it seems like kenny omega may have been the voice of reasoning but we're gonna check this out once again this is on promo joe's twitter shout out to the homie promo joe make sure you go subscribe to his uh, uh follow him on twitter if you haven't already but this is the tweet in hand uh let me pause it as an evp the mission of Kenny Omega was to keep Larry the dog safe at Brawl Out. He is also a strong believer of fighting. He and CM Punk reached out to each other. Let's see what Kenny Omega has to say. The quality on here is awful. Is that 720p? Um, let me put it as high as we can quality-wise, but it does not look good. Let's see what he has to say. Just because I represent a company or because I'm a, I am. Yeah, no, nah, this quality is awful. They're, they're, there's not much I can do. I guess because it's like a screen recording. So we're just going to have to deal with it, y'all. Hey, we, we can, we're just, we're really here to listen, but it's, it's awful. <laughs> this quality is dog shit. <laughs> but I think this is a, a screen recording someone got from uh, maybe Kenny Omega stream or whoever stream it is. An employee. Uh one company over another does that mean i love every storyline does that mean that i agree with every decision no of course not um i'm not the booker i don't have power i haven't had power for more than four years now in that company and i know that's gonna sound odd because like well kenny you're an evp i'm nothing i am nothing and i'll tell you why it's because i'm a terrible evp I don't deserve to be an EVP. Oh, wow. If people want to ask for my advice, I'll do my best to help them. If there's a fire to put up backstage, I'm going to do my best to be that person. Um, but if we go back and I don't want to have to comment on it, but I'll do it just because, you know, it adds context to it. I thought my duty as an EVP during Fallout would be to Enter the situation while there was chaos, de-escalate it, and create a peaceful environment for everyone. That's that's what you're supposed to do. That's that's part of your job. If there's some shenanigans going on backstage, there's maybe a fight about to happen, you're supposed to be there. Hey, let's break this up, fellas. Let's break this up, ladies. Let's get this get get it together. Let's de-escalate this. That's what it's supposed that's, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're getting paid for. But that that didn't happen all the way through, at least. I was able to create a peaceful environment for the most important person in that altercation, and that was Larry. <laughs> and I swear to God, honestly, that was my my biggest. And then, and That's yeah, it funny. sounds funny, but like <laughs> I look at animals and our pets as, as people and as you know Dobby of course most, one of the most important people in my life so <laughs> oh, to get little Larry out of there was the most important thing to me and that was <laughs> a success unfortunately um try as I may things were too chaotic for me to be able to do anything by my own power that was a moment when I had seen that there were good call I believe it was in that instance when I realized that the way that I wanted to go about things 
It wasn't necessarily the way that other people wanted to. It was also the way that other people necessarily didn't want to. Hmm. And then it was also maybe not the way that the boss wanted to take care of it. And hmm. I am also, I also thought of myself as a liability because I am, I don't want to say old school. I'm not old school. I've just played a lot of contact sports and I've gotten into jiu-jitsu and boxing and, and mixed martial arts. I just know that sometimes when, when you, when you perform or when you fight, when everything's on the line, when you give your heart, when you give your soul towards something, and you're in that moment of, of high stress or high anxiety, where you've maybe emptied the tank and you're just physically exhausted. That was actually very impressive. Um, a good punish. <laughs> yeah. When in an environment like that, sometimes emotions get the best of you and people will want to throw hands. And in the... There we go. He's he spot on. It happens. They're, they're wrestlers with egos, testosterone. It happens. Is it right? You can say it's not right, but it happens. It happens on the football field. It happens um, on the basketball court. It happens in sports, different sports leagues. Things get heated. You're competitive. You know, that's why there are people and officials to make sure those things don't escalate to a dangerous situation. That's what people are in place to do. That is what the boss is there to do. Regulate. Hey, if y'all don't cut this shit out, I'll fire both of you. I'll suspend both of you. Cut it out. I'll fire both of you, whatever. But you're not going to be doing this in my locker room. That's what you're supposed to do. Case, and I'm unfortunately or fortunately a believer of it, I think if it's decided that, hey, this is the best way to solve things and you can shake hands after and move on after. There you go. I'm a believer. I'm actually a believer of fighting. <laughs> I, I am. And that sounds terrible to say, which is why, like, don't make me an EVP in 2024. You know, we can't do you can't do that stuff anymore. I just feel that. Wow. Sometimes that's how you have to settle things. And he over here, he's like, man. Shit, I, this is why I said I shouldn't be an EVP because I'm down to throw the hands. That boy Kenny said I'm I'm down to stand on business and all right, cool. We go our separate ways. We've how many times have we guys have you guys heard about some stories from WWE back in the day in the locker room? The infamous Bret Hart and HBK they hated each other and they were fighting all the time. But guess what? They did business. I'm not saying that's right, but I'm saying it can be done. And these guys legitimately hated each other. So it's not that it can't be done to make money. But at the same time, people, some people just hell bent on, nah, this is not how we're going to do it. And if you don't want to handle it that way, that's cool. But at the end of the day, y'all in the business of making money. So what's more important to you? Building up the company, bringing more eyes to the company, bringing more hype to the company, or having your, you know, petty temp temper tantrum and not solving it, not letting it go, not trying to find a way to move past it. You ain't got to be the guy's friend, but there was money to be made and they left millions of dollars on the table because of their egos. Sometimes. And, and I don't mean you have to settle it and then it has to be shown on screen to yeah. everyone or people have to brag online about who won, who lost. No, like it's not for that purpose. It's for the purpose of just getting that stuff out that you need to get out. There we go. And um, I mean, I'll even, I'll, I'll admit there were, there were a number of times even now with me where I thought that that might've been the most appropriate answer. It never came to that. We were able to talk things out and we became better friends and there was a level of respect at that point on between myself and these other parties and maybe i'll share these stories later it's um but i i always it's it's crazy as much as i believe in cooler heads prevailing sitting mm -hmm. down and talking sometimes it was just like hey i can't even think straight until i start throwing some hay you know <laughs> and or maybe that i need to be smacked around a little bit whatever the case might be it happens I think if it's a contained scenario and if it's not a situation where it's, you know, there's like 
pulling people's eyeballs out, you know, low blows, <laughs> hair pulling, or scratching. You know what I mean? If it's just like, hey, let's just throw hands, let's just hang and bang a little bit. I, I, I can see it sometimes being conducive for a positive work environment. Again, this is exactly why I have no power, nor should I. So that, there we go. That's just how I feel, and I'm gonna st I'm gonna leave it at that. There you go. Dang. What's my status with Punk right now? Did I ever have a chance to talk to him? Status of Punk right now? Um, I don't know. It's just mutual respect. We uh, mm. reached out to each other. Um, Thanks for teabagging me. Yep. It's rampage time. I don't think it. Uh, no, it's 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 that's the thing. It's like it's not like hey, we're good now. It's we're never bad. We Fair honestly. Oh, yeah. If it weren't for a complete other um, factor, um, we would have been able to have that talk on the night of Brawl Out. Mm. There's, yeah, there's, there's no issue between him, him and I, as far as I know. I don't think there is at all. I don't want to seem standoffish or like secretive about um, what what happened. Like, yes, there's legalities and all that stuff, but even if there wasn't. I know this will sound weird because I've done a lot of comedy stuff in wrestling, but like I'm actually not a huge fan of like pulling back the curtain on stuff that doesn't need to be out in public. There That's what go. I'm saying. Like, if for whatever reason guys were to fight or whatever, like it's not for the public to know. That's there just for them to air out their stuff to get it out of their system. There, there you That's go. That's all I mean. There you go. Simple. Hey, couldn't agree more with Kenny Omega, man. That was that was a solid solid response from him solid uh take his uh you know his opinion on certain things and obviously he didn't go into great detail but you kind of have to read between the lines but it definitely seems as if he was down to bury you know whatever he really didn't even have any beef with him it's just you know he kind of got dragged into the thing into the whole situation but clearly the young bucks weren't trying to squash any beef clearly tony khan wasn't trying to get boys in the same room and makes make some shit work hash some stuff out i'm sorry i there's no way i i pay everyone's checks that works for me and you're gonna sit up here and tell me that you not about to talk to this person and squash it huh you 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 ain't about to what you ain't about to have a fucking job get out of here you're fired simple you ain't gonna, how you gonna tell me this is my company i'm trying to make money figure it out or go somewhere else and it just seems as if kenny omega was trying to at least bury the hatchet or try to make something work for everybody that's and he said to himself i shouldn't be an evp i'm not trying to be because the way i handle things if there's an issue let's let's hash it out if we got to throw some hands I can I can respect that. All right, cool. That's why he said I shouldn't be EVP, and he said it himself. I respect him for saying this, and he said, you know, me and Punk, we talked it talked it through, and you know, I ain't I ain't got no beef with him. He ain't got no beef with me that I know of. There you go. Simple. It's just one of those type of things where it got blown out of proportion, obviously, because people just didn't want to let the shit go. And uh, his last point that he made, people shouldn't be knowing about this. No one really should be knowing about none of this, really. Obviously, there's going to be people out there that leak stuff and try to get information. But certain situations where people get into it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us shouldn't really be knowing, you know. But, it, you know, it's just part of the territory now in wrestling and how, you know, you know, people get their information. But either way. It should have been, hey, we got an issue. All right, let's solve it. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, maybe we're not gonna be cool for a while. Hey, you know what? Let's 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 it's been some time since they, you know, people got suspended and stuff. It's been some time. Let's make this work. Let's make some money together. I'm willing to put it to the side. Y'all want to make a program out this? Let's do it. Missed opportunity at the missed opportunity at the missed opportunity. So shout out to Kenny Omega. That was a pretty solid response. Much respect to the guy because he kept it 100. So, 
Comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about Kenny Omega's comments about this whole situation with CM Punk and Young Bucks. Everything that's, you know, happened with them. How do y'all feel about it? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love, support. Road to 150K. And I'm still Young Speedy, YouTube person, champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.